As the president of Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology, I'm delighted to welcome you to this orientation program for the class that will graduate on the year 2014. I am very happy that you are here and I believe that you should also be very happy and very proud to be here. I would also like you to take advantage of this orientation program to learn basically what are the requirements, what are our policies and procedures, but more importantly, to get to know the faculty. The Computing and Information Science program, we look at how information technology can be used to solve problems related to alternative energy and sustainability. Our research spans several areas. We are covering areas such as software engineering, robotics, algorithms and theory, all the way up to the uh, applicable areas such as social computing, which includes uh, development of social networks and their leverage combined with sustainable development and sustainable energy in order to produce cutting-edge technologies for the future. The Computing and Information Science program uh, prepares people to become really cutting-edge professionals in computing and information science. My uh, research is about wireless sensor networks, so um, it optimizes the use of energy. Uh, my research is about uh, building a new platform for uh, carbon trading. What I'm working on is how to ensure that a consumer's privacy is ensured and the system is as efficient as it can be. Smart Grids is CIS solutions. Uh, carbon trading, smartness in carbon trading is CIS solution. Any system needs smartness, it's about CIS solutions. We probably have one of the strongest programs in the region in computing and information science. We have a set of professors who come from top universities who are very active in, in research in their fields and who are always at the cutting edge uh, of their work. Both for the students interested in industrial careers and also for the students interested in academic careers, the foundation that we are providing and the skill set that we are providing here makes them ready for these future endeavors. The chemical engineering program itself is uh, focused on uh, uh, how to uh, actually make more sustainable use of the resources that we have in this country. Graduates have a wide variety of uh, options. They can go into uh, pharmaceutical type of companies that have a lot of chemical engineering work. They can go to petroleum related uh, companies, processing plastics, uh, uh, biotechnology is a big uh, new burgeoning area that uses biological systems to make drugs or make bioplastics, etc. But you can also uh, use that fundamental training to, uh, to work for government in terms of uh, policy or, or in big corporations for environmental safety or chemical safety. Our mission is to train the future uh, industrial leaders and possibly academics to do chemical engineering. I work in the Carbon Capture and Storage Group here in the Mazar Institute. The purpose of my research is to specifically look for new ways of capturing uh, CO2 from the atmosphere. It's an externally funded project uh, by Mustard Carbon and the U.S. Department of Energy. The overall benefit of this research is to help reduce the costs associated with carbon capture and storage. I'm going to be participating in a conference at the end of the year in Kyoto. It's the biggest greenhouse gas conference in the world. Students who are definitely interested in the future of uh, alternative energy, etc., are the candidates that we want in our, into our program. Uh, chemical engineering does provide a very solid, thorough training and allows you to do a lot of careers. The main objective of the electrical power engineering program is to introduce the students to the challenges 
associated with the integration of renewable energy into power systems. They get to know what kind of challenges there are and how to actually innovate in addressing those challenges. We have technical courses, that is uh, courses which are really electrical engineering oriented. As well, we have sustainable energy related courses which we can take as either um, electives or as uh, one university core course. I chose to study electrical power engineering here at Mazdar Institute because it has association with uh, MIT, which is one of the best uh, engineering institutes around the world. In the EPE program, uh, we have a diverse and, and, and a variety of research aspects that we look at. We have people looking at wind integration, solar integration, from the device to the system level, uh, looking at microgrids and smart grids, which are new research topics in, in the area of power engineering. Abu Dhabi 2030 Bridging is about decreasing the dependence on fossil fuel and uh, we're trying to generate electricity using alternative energy and by doing my research which is about increasing the efficiency of wind turbine uh, farms it will help the uh, Emirate of Abu Dhabi to, uh, to reach the goal. Uh, I believe my research will be very important for the future adoption of the wind power energy especially in UAE. Uh, my research is you know, trying to provide a useful information regarding reliability, stability, and security issues. If I look at the, the main achievements really of EPE, it is in building a very strong program where students come out capable of understanding what research is all about, pushing the limits and going towards even publishing their work in top, top journals, and then afterwards going into the industry or even in the academia. The beauty of ESM is, is that we take uh, students from different disciplines. So they can be a graduate of any discipline and then they can join the ESM. And most of them, because they already have the technical background, they want to have a graduate education in uh, different areas, especially when it comes to management. And this is why many of them opt to uh, really uh, go to ESM because they want to uh, do something other than technical and especially if they want to become future managers because at the end engineers uh, after four to five years work experience they're going to end up doing management work managing younger engineers and so on so the ESM program gives them the technical skills to be able really uh, to become managers and leaders in the future. I chose to begin my academic journey with a master degree in engineering systems and management by uh, obtaining this degree, I'll be able to combine both the managerial skills and the technical skills that I gained from my undergraduate degree, which is civil engineering. So what I like about the ESM program is that it perfectly combines engineering and management. So we tackle the management problems from an engineering perspective, and the fact that it has math actually makes it more challenging and interesting for engineers. So they should be able to manage projects, make decisions about financial decisions and policy decisions. Uh, these type of uh, leaders we are building here uh, at the Institute. Uh, my research aims to study different renewable energy projects around the world to help Abu Dhabi achieving its 2030 vision. I'm currently working on a research uh, about sustainable public transportation. We are trying to create a shift toward using sustainable public transportation instead of using uh, private cars in order to help the country to uh, lower the air, pollution, air and noise pollution uh, reduce um, uh, traffic congestion and uh, increase traffic safety. My research is about optimizing uh, container terminal operations because uh, ports are growing to accommodate more and more containers every year and it's very important to make the processes more reliable, efficient and why not sustainable. My greatest ambition in life is to become one of the decision makers in my country. Especially I want to become a professor in one of the leading universities in the UAE um, to uh, deliver the knowledge that I gain in Mazdar Institute and uh, inshallah in the future in my PhD to the next generations, especially in the field of transportation. There is a lack in national experts in this field, so uh, I really hope to be, to be one, uh, one of them one day.
In mechanical engineering, what we want to do is to prepare our graduates who are problem solver. Uh, mainly, we are focusing in sustainability area, so we would like our uh, uh, graduates uh, to be able to identify problems related to energy, its conversion, efficiency, and uh, their impact on the environment. The mechanical engineering program has a very broad curricula. So in that sense, if you're coming into that, you're rest assured that you come out as a very versatile engineer and be able to feel like you'll be able to fill any gap in any field in which you find yourself in the future. My background is also mechanical engineer, and uh, I'm sort of continuing my expertise. However, I'm, I want to to uh, make myself specialize in one specific area in mechanical engineering. Uh, my area it is in waste energy so what we try to do is try to convert waste into an added value product whether uh, oil or uh, gas or uh, any form basically of energy. My research is in, in collaboration with Mazda and um, the Emirates Aluminium email. We're not just here for teaching only it is research and we spend a lot of time. I'm working on wind energy so I'm looking at the aerodynamic uh, aspect of the wind turbine Almost all industries need mechanical engineering. So students can find opportunities in various sectors, whether it is oil and, uh, oil and gas, whether it is renewable uh, sector, whether it is uh, a service sector. Uh, so almost all, all uh, sectors we can think of and you will find there is a need for our, our graduates. Microsystems really offers a very rich you know, opportunity to, to, to get involved with some of the world's deepest problems these days. We have basic device research. We also have a lot of activity in the circuit area. We actually try to do much improved uh, solutions to have you know, low power implementations uh, for doing various things like say you know, ultrasound, EEG monitoring, heart rate monitoring. Uh, high-speed network. The goal of my, uh, of my thesis, of my PhD work in here is to deliver a, a solution, an on-chip solution for uh, ultrasonic brain imaging. We have uh, you know, four students who've actually taped out what are called integrated circuit chips in just a short period of say two years. They've gone from scratch all the way to learning how to actually design the circuits. This is the first time in this region that we have implemented the system on actual chip and tested and verified. I think I can benefit a lot from microsystem engineering um, by learning and uh, accelerating my knowledge and uh, to produce something very innovative. I think our biggest achievement that I've seen are, are our actual students, just seeing the progress you know, they've made. Uh, many, uh, m m many people in the region are not very familiar with concepts in, say, you know, microsystems, and they might feel that they don't have you know, you know, quite good enough background to actually pursue it. However, we've shown to, to, through our first class that we've had our, our graduates actually go you know, exceptionally far as far as doing their, doing, doing their, their, say, overall projects. The objective of the program is to identify materials with uh, the optimal properties to target those kind of um, uh, technologies, mainly uh, to address the energy and the water sector. I don't want to scare you, but actually, yes, I want. Uh, this is not a place for students that are lazy and they don't want to do science. Uh, science is my passion, is the passion of all the guys that are at the laboratory for energy and nanoscience. And I hope if you come, you really share this kind of passion because uh, this is uh, ultimately our, go our goal. We want to change the world. My research is relate related to functional coatings for solar panels and for this desert and humid regions, it's very important to reduce the amount of water which is needed to clean these panels. If one looks at the Abu Dhabi Vision 2030, that's looking at developing sustainable uh, technologies and enhancing energy efficiency, uh, this uh, fits right in. And it also fits from the other perspective in the sense it will train 
the manpower and develop the know-how based uh, society uh, in these fields. This is actually one of the best things about these groups in terms of your academic career that you actually can get recognized very fast and have publications. The career opportunities for, for the material science and engineering program are very uh, diverse um, because of the nature of the program that is basically at the heart of any innovation. Uh, all my guys are working hard, are working weekends, are working nights, are working evening because at the end of the day that's the experiment and that's the experiment and the results we're getting out that will uh, help us change the world, but not just changing the world, just finding out whether our theory are correct or at least not wrong. We have a very strong team here in the Lens Group, which is part of the Material Science Lab, but also interacting with other parts of the Institute. Congratulations to all of you uh, who have joined the Master Institute uh, recently, and we are very uh, proud and, and, uh, and happy to have you amongst us and we are looking forward to working with you and uh, developing your skills uh, further um, and I'm sure you will be a, a great asset uh, to this program and to Muslim Institute overall. The environment is not considered as, as a constraint anymore. The environment is a whole new field of opportunities. And the program is really geared in this direction. We want our students to have the skills to tackle all these problems. This program, I would say, is very diverse. Okay, we're water environmental engineering. What does that mean? Um, even within the program, we're going to have like six, eight, you know, a lot of different uh, research areas from desalination, wastewater treatment, hydrology, wind. In my program, Water Environment Engineering, I'm doing a study on the association between the dust incidents and the respiratory diseases in the city of Abu Dhabi. I'm doing hydrological modeling, so you take uh, like the historical data of like say a river or rainfall and you try to find patterns in it. As part of Abu Dhabi's 2030's vision, we have to ensure that we are meeting the highest health standards. Our objective is to produce students that have the knowledge, the expertise to handle all these problems, that have also the capacity to advance the state of the knowledge through scholarly research in the fields of water and environmental engineering. I love the teamwork and the significant opportunities that open for all the students. I would like to welcome all of you, our new students in the program. I promise you a couple of years full of hard work, long white nights, but exceptional results at the end and an exciting career. Let me conclude by again congratulating you for being here. We certainly are very happy that you decided to join us and I assure you that we will not disappoint you. I assure you the education that you will get here is as good as the education you will get in any top level universities throughout the world and I also assure you that the direction of your research, the type of the research, the output of your research is going to serve the humanity in general.